Gather up your projects, settle in your favorite spot. It's time to stitch with Sarah at her stitchy Camelot. Let's celebrate each other, this community we've got. It's time to get down to Sarah's stitchy spot. Hello everyone, my name is Sarah. Welcome to my Floss Tube channel where we will discuss and celebrate all things cross-stitch. Grab your favorite beverage, get comfortable, and join me at Sarah's Stitchy Spot. Hi, I'm Sarah, and this is Floss Tube number 30. It is Wednesday, August 23rd, 2023. I would like to welcome each and every one of you to my Floss Tube channel. As I do at the beginning of every video, I want to thank my husband and send him lots of love for writing and performing the song that you just heard. If you are new to this Floss Tube channel, I hope you will like what you see, subscribe, ring the bell, and share, and do all the things that we do on Floss Tube. For my returning viewers and subscribers, um, I, I can't thank you enough, and we will discuss that in just a moment for being here with me um, over the past year and all your love and support. So, and I also want to say that today is uh, Eva's birthday, so it was easy for re me to remember the date of August 23rd. Um, uh, she is 36 and I want to wish her a lot of love and joy on her special day. So this video today it's probably going to be a little shorter um, and we have to talk about something right off at the beginning and we um, that's a little sad um, a week and a day ago we did have to put Chester to sleep and um, as you can imagine um, it, it was it was devastating for Stan and I and we are um, still really working through our grief. Um, luckily for our psyche, uh, we, had, uh, we were scheduled to keep Vince for his first overnight away from mom uh, over in the Bay Area. And I think um, the joy of that was not only being with Vince, but also um, it got us out of the house where we have so many memories. Um, the thing that I want to talk to, to you guys about is that um, in October of last year, I told you all that, um, that he had had a melanoma removed from his mouth and um, there was a real good chance of a recurrence. And the vet, when she discussed it with us, uh, thought maybe he would have two to three months. And as she said last week, uh, Chester doesn't read the books and, um, I also believe that one of the reasons that we had him for so many more months, um, again, was because of all the love and support and prayers and good thoughts that you all gave him. So, I mean, you guys know um, I cry at Hallmark commercials, so this is really difficult for me to get through. Um, but there was no way... I. I couldn't share it with all of you because you've all become so important to me. And I want you to know that um, I, I'm so appreciative of, of all, the, all the comments, all the love um, that, that you guys have given us, uh, not only for Chester, but for Vince. And um, so we, we've got that. <laughs> Um, he's going to be missed. He was, he was just the absolute love of our lives. Um, but this is, this is, um, part of having animals for pets is that most of the time that we will outlive them, but the love and the joy that they give us is priceless. So, um, I, I, I have dreaded and looked forward to this video, um, since last week, but there was no way I wasn't gonna 
at least talk to you guys about it. So we're going to try to um, move forward and um, I, I'm, I'm trying to keep smiling, and I will, and I know this horrible grief, this horrible hole in your heart um, will ease with, with time. But um, I love you all, and um, we're here to talk about cross-stitching, so we'll, we'll dive right in. Um, as I have been doing um, and enjoying so much, I'm going to share some uh, pictures of cross stitch that has been sent to me by um, uh, my viewers and subscribers. And um, so let's jump right into that, okay? Uh, the first one is an extraordinary finish of uh, by Claire of Eliza's French Birds by JBW Designs. And I'm gonna be, uh, you know, I'll roll these pictures as I talk. Uh, I just thought this frame was, um, was just stunning. And, um, and Claire, I thank you for sharing that. Uh, I unfortunately still have not uh, framed uh, my um, Eliza's French Birds, despite the fact that I have a, a frame and the um, lacing thread and um, the mat board, uh, er everything is, is, is right there in the room and uh, it doesn't seem to be putting itself together. So it's, uh, I guess it's going to demand that I get involved in some way, but um, I will share that with you as well as soon as um, I get it done. The second is Dear Peg, and Peg, if you remember, is the one that sent me the wonderful Beatles bag, uh, project bag, and she sent a picture uh, of, of a couple of things, and one was her finish of Eleanor Rigby, which uh, by Blackbird Designs, which you guys know um, is in... Um, uh, is what I'm housing in her bag, as I will all of the uh, Blackbird Design uh, Beetle series. Um, and so she sent me her finish of that. But not only that, she sent me the finish of Blackbird, um, which is by Blackbird Designs. And she mounted that on an old uh, cigar box that she found at a, um, a antique store. And uh, you can see in one of the uh, pictures where she's opened it, she has uh, outfitted it uh, to hold some of her sewing supplies. And um, so uh, this, I hope this inspires you guys. Uh, and Peg, again, thank you for sending that to me. And then the last piece is by Laurel. And Laurel sent me her finish of um, Flance, Flancy Blacket October Rye by Pineberry Lane. And she stitched that on 32 count ancient. And there is also a picture of some of the, the uh, counting pins that she is learning to make that she plans to um, add to that as she um, uh, finishes that fully into a pillow. So those, um, and, and so thank you, Laurel, for sending that. Um, I love sharing your guys' work and I, I love celebrating your stitching. So, you know, never hesitate to email me or um, uh, uh, send them through Instagram. Sometimes the email is better because um, I can download the pictures for editing. But, um, so thank you so much for that. Uh, I'm not going to go through this video m making excuses, but um, I have watched a very little um, uh, floss tube compared to what I normally do. Uh, I have just been sort of off kilter, but uh, a couple of, of things that I did want to mention. One was on the last um, Running With Scissors, Stitching With Jane and Julie, uh, Jane has started the Zimmerman coverlet by um, Modern Folk Embroidery, and I did buy that as soon as it came out. This was a piece charted from a uh, family coverlet that is owned by Ellen Reed of uh, Maximum Cross Stitch Power Hour. And it is, is stunning and I, I, I have it. And after seeing um, Jane's, it has made me really want to start it. it it's big, you can, you can do it a, a, a couple of ways. You probably don't have to do the whole thing. It, it's repeating sections, but um, go take a look at, at her, um, her start on that because um, it is it is really worth seeing and the other thing is is that um, Chris cross stitch is back and yay 
I have only seen um, his uh, little short introduction uh, video to say he was coming back. Um, I enjoyed and watched every one of his videos uh, before he took his little hiatus. And, um, and one of the very special things about Chris for me is that he is the one that sent me to um, Sarah of So Me Sarah's Floss Tube channel. And um, I cherish the friendship that we've developed um, uh, since I started watching her. So um, Chris, thank you for that. Um, I, uh, and I hope you all will go and check him out. He has a, um, a wonderful way of fil filming and recording his videos and he is just charming. He's from Birmingham, Alabama, and uh, so am I. So I, um, I, ha or I have lived in Birmingham and we, we just have a lot in common. So um, anyway, that, that's some good news. And um, you know, give me a couple of weeks and I'll be back with um, some floss tube recommendations and what I've been watching because I know that the uh, new ones continue to come out. Okay, so um, I'm gonna stop for just one minute because I sort of uh, teared up and, and let me just get myself back together and I'll be right back, okay. Hi, I'm back and I'm, I'm really glad I took that little break because um, I had, I did glance down at my notes like I should have. Um, and I had two other shares um, from Judy that I wanted to make sure I um, uh, let you guys see. She sent uh, two finishes of projects that I had been working on after I finished my uh, whip parade, which was the last video that I did. And um, so, um, as you can see, this is a picture of a Sweetheart Hill uh, by, um, I'm not gonna remember right this minute who, who it's by. I, I will write it down below, uh, cause I'm, I'm a little scattered. <laughs> but, um, and then she also um, uh, finished Pet All the Dogs uh, by Teresa Kogut, which I certainly uh, plan to, to give a little more time uh, in the future. So um, Judy, I'm sorry but th that I forgot those, but, but they're, they're making the video. And um, again, it, it's such inspiration and such beautiful stitching. The other things that I uh, forgot to mention were um, uh, again about uh, the new designers. Uh, uh, I did talk about Annie, the proper stitcher last time. She had released some um, samplers uh, reproduction samplers, reimagined samplers. Uh, her latest um, video extra uh, did show uh, her fall and Halloween designs. And we also have another new designer, um, Chris, the camping stitcher, has also released some designs. And so I encourage you guys to go over and take a look at Chris's video where she uh, unveils those. Uh, they have been uh, posted on Instagram as well. So, um, so yay to um, uh, Chris for now stepping into um, the designing aspect of cross-stitching. I just think it's important that we all support each other and, um, uh, and, and celebrate the, the talent that, that we all have. So um, I, I, I'm glad that I took that little break to get myself back together. Uh, because I would have uh, been negligent to forget to mention those things. So what, what we will do today is um, I have one new start. Uh, I have a few whips. Uh, uh, part of that is because I was, uh, as I mentioned, in the Bay Area with the first overnight with Vince. And uh, let me tell you folks, there, there are reasons why 72-year-old uh, women don't have babies. <laughs> uh, he, he, was, he was just wonderful, but Stan and I were, were, were certainly exhausted uh, when, when we got home. Um, but it also doesn't uh, leave you a lot of time for um, stitching, which with Vince, that, that's certainly okay. Um, so I have a new start. I don't have any finishes. I have some um, uh, whips that we'll discuss and um, a, a small piece of haul and, and, and uh, a lot of happy mail. So let's get started. Um, I uh, have just, uh, just stitched erratically and with uh, no real 
purpose other than uh, therapeutic uh, in the last week. But I did, um, I just decided I wanted to start something new. And I'm probably going to be doing that for a while. <laughs> but um, I, I started um, a pledge of affection by Blackbird Design. This was the first in the Tender Heart series. I do not have the whole series. Um, I really struggled with picking a fabric for it. I did not have the called for, which I think is a mocha. Um, so I, am, I th this is the floss, which is the called for floss. And you can see, um, and there is a sanguine that uh, I'm gonna be pulling from another uh, piece that I'm working on, but they're gorgeous colors. And this is my uh, little start. And I'm stitching it on a 36 count color and cotton in the heirloom lace. And this is uh, what I have done so far. So it's a small piece and I, I probably will definitely uh, either make a pillow or, or put it in a project bag. I imagine that I'll make it a pillow. So that was my new start uh, and now has become a whip. A Pledge of Affection by Blackbird Designs. Uh, it is uh, living in um, my gorgeous project bag from uh, Tammy Blaylock, which is um, Creative Country Girl, and it has this wonderful tag, and I'm just trying to get the fabric. This came when she sent back the uh, finish of uh, Ira Ray that you guys have all seen and can, no, you can't see them from here. So, um, that is Pledge of Affection by Blackbird Designs, and that was a, uh, a new start. So we'll jump right into whips. The first, though, whip that I want to show you is one that escaped the bag, um, the, the laundry baskets uh, last year, uh, last time I filmed, and that was um, Merry Christmas, oh, Merry Santa by uh, Teresa Kogut. And this is in her, uh, from her Patreon uh, membership. And I had it in a different place and, and didn't pull it, but I have done a start on it. It, I did it, I'm stitching it on 36 count Cola by XG Designs and using the call for DMC. And this was, um, I don't think I've worked on it since I probably showed it last, but this was a whip that I missed. So those colors are just beautiful. So that's Mary Santa by Teresa Kogut. And that was a, um, a whip that escaped. Um, so we'll jump in to um, what I have been working on. And the first thing um, that I have gotten back to Anniversaries of the Heart, these are the two blocks in particular that I am working on. This one is um, A Wish For You, and uh, this is the uh, March block. And if you guys remember, I was struggling because of this one over one, and that's what I concentrated on, on this one. And then I also worked on number four, which is April's chart, and this is Pink Hill Manor by Blackbird Designs. And I'm stitching this on a 36 count. Um, it is R&R um, O-Town Blend. And this is, well, this is the whole piece so far, but I did want you to see the, um, let's, let's fold it the one over one that I worked on. It's a little wonky up there. I wasn't gonna try to rip it out. I'm, I'm celebrating that I am uh, I'm really trying to um, take one over one seriously. So it says a wish for good health and a wish for good health, good luck and happiness is what that will say. So I just have happiness to do and then I came over here and I've worked a little on the house, uh, brought the border down. So that is Anniversaries of the Heart, which I just, um, 
it I just love stitching on and it was um, I, I just let myself become unnecessarily intimidated by the one over one and um, I have uh, I have been pushing myself to um, not let that happen so um, I will show you uh, to my um, my planner um, I kind of went with the August and, and the fruit and farmers market um, theme. So, um, okay, here we go with the whips. I'm gonna pull everything over here. The first one is uh, Seasons of the Heart, uh, Summer, and this is the piece that um, I am doing with the uh, hashtag uh, Stitch Smalls from PNPS, which is Punch Needle Primitive Stitcher. This was in the um, 2021 summer. It's by the Blue Flower. I have appreciated um, all of the uh, uh, posts on Instagram that you guys have been using the hashtag for. And, and I'm, I'm going to, uh, like I have heard a lot of the floss tubers suggest, if you would also tag me um, at, at Mistress Page. Uh, because sometimes they are not putting them in any kind of order, and it, it is kind of hard to, uh, I do try to look at them, but um, I have found that I've missed a couple, and so um, I'm stitching this on 36 count uh, Sandcastle by Color and Cotton, and I'm using uh, most of the called for DMC. I have stuck in a couple of uh, Mrs. Seda silks, or, uh, just stuff that I pulled from my stash. So um, I did get this flower done twice. I, I had it off, but I was just too afraid not to fix it because of this heart, which I have heard has, um, has really tortured some people uh, in the counting of it. So I have started, um, this is gonna be, I think a rabbit, is that a rabbit? No, yes, it looks like a rabbit, this watering the, um, strawberries. So this is Seasons of the Heart by the Blue Flower, and it is a part of Stitch Smalls from uh, PNPS, so that we have them available for um, retreats, for gifts, for pick-me-ups. Um, the next is, um, I'm going to just pull, uh, excuse, just a little bit of noise. I'm going to pull over um, my red sample Thursday pieces, and the first one is Mary 395. Or no, I'm sorry, it's Ursilia. Ursilia sampler is on top. So this is by Samplers in My Attic. It is a piece that uh, Jean owns. I know many of you were um, uh, were at summer school, and I have loved uh, all of you that shared pictures and um, all the joy that occurred there. I, I, uh, I would have loved to have been there. It is, uh, as I've always said, Jean and Carolyn and the staff, they are just, uh, it is a first-rate, top, first top-notch uh, retreat. So um, I am stitching this on 36 count, just the ticket. And I am using the Belsois uh, tulip color. And I have continued to work in this alphabet down here. So I think I did the U, V, and this looks like it's gonna be a Z, but um, so that is my work so far. I love, I love my Thursdays and, and working on these. So that's Ursilia's samplers, sampler. Um, by samplers in my attic, and it is one uh, of the two pieces that I give time to each week that are red samplers. And the uh, second one is Mary 395 by Hands Across the Sea. And that's the chart. I am stitching this on 36 count antique ivory Edinburgh. I'm using Gloriana Poinsettia 
and a couple of the alphabets were done in Hollyberry. This was um, kitted up at Acorn and Threads in Portland. And I continue to work down in this, um, this corner here, so I'm gonna show you that first. So I know this is one that would probably be much more effective if I took before and after, but, um, but I don't. So that is the general area that I am working on. And then this is the entire piece here. And then all the way down. So that's Mary 395 by Hands Across the Sea. Okay. And we go from one laundry, laundry, basket, laundry basket to another. Um, the second one is, um, of course, would be a piece that I would pick up. Um, this is um, Chester's Place by uh, Whistle Stop. Stitcher Designs. Chester was actually a cat. This was a fundraiser for some dental work that the cat needed. But I, I must admit I, I bought it because of Chester's name. And um, I am stitching this on a 36 count Wren by Picture This Plus with the called for over dyed floss. And what I concentrated on Primarily, um, I think I did some border work, um, but was to try to get the uh, entire uh, quote, which is until one's, I can't read it upside down. Until one has loved an animal, a part of one's soul remains unawakened. And that's so very true. So I do have the border all the way down at the bottom. I may have done that before. Um, the, uh, the words were very comforting to me. So, um, I have been working on that, but it's a beautiful design and the house is gorgeous, but it's big. And so I still have uh, the house and the border and a few words and, um, and the little critters at the bottom. So that is Chester's place by Whistle Stop Stitcher Designs. And I have a lot of this wren uh, left for other pieces. I, I, uh, I found, I, I, I do really love Picture This Plus. It, it is uh, uh, wonderful uh, when you can get it. I know some of these colors are hard to find. Uh, my next piece is my um, hashtag Summer Cross Stitch Camp 2023 for August, and it is um, Always Forward. And this is um, by Mrs. Flossie. I did see pictures of Amy at um, summer camp, summer school. I, I knew that didn't sound right. Um, so this is a, a designer that it was new to me, which was the prompt for the August um, cross-stitch camp hosted by Sherry of the Colorado Cross-Stitcher. I am stitching this on 36 count Russian 37 count Russian tea cake, and I am using um, the uh, Roxy Flosco floss in the color Wednesday. So I just love the, the, the way it goes in and out of the dark. And as I, I mentioned, I did do a little fussy cutting here and there's going to be a cardinal here that I will um, cut the floss to try to uh, have the wing and the beak stand out. But I probably need to get cracking a little harder if I'm going to have this done by the end of August. But that's always forward, and it appears to be a series. So um, I look forward to seeing what, what, the, um, what the future ones will bring. Okay, and that is in a um, made by me. Um, 
project bag with fabric that I purchased in um, Paris uh, when Stan and I went. The next one is, this was the only <laughs> stitching that I did get um, done uh, while we were over in um, the Bay Area with Vince. And of course, what, what better to do than work on his sampler. And as you will see, there, there's not a whole lot more done since you last saw it. I'm stitching it on a 20 count Ada in antique white. And um, I have uh, even left a needle because when he wakes up, uh, I, I run to get him. Uh, but I'm gonna get this tree done, which will allow me to have an anchor for um, where I will do the, um, uh, you know, that looks, <laughs> that didn't look even, but it's because it is not ironed. Uh, shame on me, but you guys know how I feel about an iron. Um, anyway, so this is Adventure Awaits. It's by Nikki Pattern an Etsy shop and I just um, keep plugging away okay and it is in a project bag made by me as well with a beautiful zipper pull from um, Julie of uh, running with scissors stitching with Jane and Julie Next, we have um, this was a this is a piece that I work on um, because I've got it down to just the um, fill in, and I I had a place where I could work on that in the last week. So this is Halloween by Not Forgotten Farms, and I'm stitching this on a 36 count agave, and um, using the call for DMC. So I have. She looks a little grim there because she's not completely, her face isn't completely finished, but it's very close. And then I will continue to work down on the, um, on her dress and, and that will be done. So that's Halloween by, um, and you know, I said 36, um, I'm pretty sure this is a 32 count agave. And I am stitching it one over two as I, I, I am want to do. So that, I did do some dark 13 stitching and um, I'm realizing now that I forgot to get that. Um, I worked on um, Lady Halloween by uh, Jardin Privé, um, but I, 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 I don't have it and I'm not gonna, I won't stop now <laughs> to go and get it. But um, anyway, and the next piece is uh, Beautiful Things by Lindy Stitches. Let me get that chart. And it says, oh my darling, it's true. Beautiful things have dents and scratches too. This is a piece that when it is finished, I'm going to give to my oldest daughter, Diane. And um, it is stitched on 36 count earthen by um, Picture This Plus with the call for DMC and overdyed floss. And what I did was I worked on the gate here, all in this area, but this is the whole piece. I just think this is an extraordinary chart. So that's Beautiful Things by Lindy Stitches. And that will be a gift for Diane. And Diane and I are going to the, um, for the Love of Stitches meeting in Sacramento this Saturday. So um, I look forward to seeing everybody. My next piece is my two threads a day uh, stitch, and that is uh, Ruskin's Penguins uh, by Modern Folk Embroidery. I am stitching this on 36 count eucalyptus with the Roxy Flosco uh, overdyed cotton in um, 
chalkboard and weathered white. And I have gotten to a penguin. So that is very exciting. So the border is finished. Actually, I see um, a little place, I hope I don't forget, to go back right here and put those white stitches. So I have the rest of that penguin, a heart between them and the uh, second penguin to do. So that's Ruskin's Penguins by Modern Folk Embroidery. And that's my two threads a day piece. My focus piece is Moonlight Sampler by um, The Blue Flower. And um, it has been getting seven days of stitching a month and we'll continue that until it is finished. And I am stitching this on a 36 count Grape Harvest by um, XJU Designs and I'm using the call for over dyed floss and, um, and DMC. So what, what I have worked on primarily is all of this alphabet, the STU and the M um, I finished. I did another B below the cat. This is the uh, entire piece. I apologize for the dangling threads. But at this point, they're sort of my trademark. So I just, I, I love everything about this. And there's going to be a dog in it too. So that's also very exciting. So that is Moonlight Sampler by The Blue Flower. And those are, are my whips. I, I know it's, um, it's shocking <laughs> that, that I have done, uh, I barely filled a laundry basket, which is <laughs> very unusual for me. Um, so we, we will jump into um, haul and uh, our uh, acquisitions. Um, I ordered a piece of fabric from uh, Lynn of those missing stitches. I heard um, Catherine of Stitching in Costume uh, raving about it, and uh, uh, which she should. It is absolutely gorgeous. And I ordered the piece, um, Darling David, and this is what it looks like, and it is glorious. It is just beautiful. It's labeled, that's another side of it. So that's Darling David. And, and then Lynn was kind enough to um, send an extra piece with a, with a beautiful card that she made, I'm sure. Um, I actually, I, I had the stamp set. So I recognize it um, with a very nice note inside. And then she sent me a piece of Exceptional Eleanor, which I, I love the name of that. And look at that. Is that not absolutely gorgeous? And the, the other side or the other. So I, I, am, I am very excited and thrilled to um, have those two pieces and we'll put them to good use. Then I got a piece of Happy Mail that just, um, just blew me away. And uh, this is from Mary. And Mary, um, I would love if you would email me. I didn't have any way of letting you know that I could find uh, to let you know that this had, had arrived safe and sound. But... Um, she sent this beautiful card that she purchased um, at uh, her favorite bookstore in New York. She has a son that's st studying theater, which of course is very close to my heart. And, um, and with that was the a sticker, <laughs> love is love is love. And you guys know that means a lot to me as well. 
But that's not all. Everything was wrapped, and I, I got them off of the tissue. But don't don't look at the two hearts. But the, these gorgeous, they're, they're three-dimensional uh, butterflies. And I have more. And they are just sparkly and exquisite. And it was such a, a lovely little touch uh, to the packaging. But she made a, a rainbow-themed zipper pull. I mean, yeah, uh, a scissor, scissor fob. And, and the little, um, you know, she's got a little handmade um, sign on there. This, the hook is beaded around and it has a little rainbow frog. And is, is that not gorgeous? And these gorgeous scissors, I, I'm just, uh, I, I am filming on a different device today. I, I am trying uh, my iPad. And so I catch myself glancing over here and I apologize. Um, but anyway, so this is um, at this darling polka dot uh, scissor sheath. So I am so happy. And then this is just stunning. It is a zipper pull that is beaded, again, in the rainbow colors. Look at that. Is that, it's just gorgeous. So um, Mary, th thank you so much. Um, it came at, um, as you can imagine, a special time um, and it brought a smile um, to my face and, um, and some joy to my heart. So thank you. But um, it, if you'll take a look in the uh, description box below and just, just shoot me an email so, um, so I have your, your email address so I could um, uh, just in the future um, say thanks and, and let you know that that arrived. So um, that, I know this is for me a, a very uh, short video and I hope um, you will all understand that it was a, a, a very difficult one to get through. But um, if you were new, <laughs> I hope you will come back and you will uh, like and subscribe and ring the bell and share and do all the things that we do on Floss Tube. Uh, I don't have words for what this community um, has meant to me. Um, and I just don't have words. I think um, rather than uh, turning this in to um, what I do best with crying. Um, I'm going to leave it at that today. But I want you all to know that I appreciate you um, uh, taking this video for a, um, a reaching out to you guys because, um, because I needed it and um, that I will get back to, to a, a more regular schedule of stitching and watching floss tubes, and um, just just again making sure that our community is celebrated as it should be. So um, the other thing I was going to say, I'm going to put um, a, a video uh, at the end when I always do something with Vince. But I wanted to explain that um, this was his first time to hear Grandpa Stan play and sing on the guitar. And um, e even though this doesn't catch it like the, the, a lot of the, of the times that Stan played for him, he was, uh, he was mesmerized and he seemed to enjoy it uh, very much. So I'm going to um, share that video with you at the end. And, um, and we'll put a picture of Chester up too. So, um, sorry. Okay. Um, so thank you all for being here. Uh, um, I, I, I love each and every one of you. So since everything is cleared from the table, I'm going to ask you to grab your stitching, get comfortable, and stitch what you love. I love you all. Until next time, bye-bye.
worth the grief and the dying.